demonstration video of this spray granulating machine by Froon. It's part of uh, Vector here in the United States, Froon of course the Japanese manufacturer. Um, we're operating on uh, 223 phase voltage right now. We have air supply to the unit. We're going to take you through some of the features over here. We're going to come back to our control panel in a minute to get our cameraman to come around. This is the actual spray coating bowl. And you'll see we're operating right now. You can see the bowl turning. Um, and while we're showing that, it does have variable speed. And we can slow it down or speed it up. We're running the heating system through it right now. And also, while our cameraman is there, this is the powder feeder for that. We take a look inside, Jim. That's also variable speed. You can low, speed it up, depending on how much powder feed you want. Inside the bowl as well, you'll see the spray hit in here. It's got a lot of the different adjustments for position and whatnot. Don't go, you see okay? Okay, good. Yes. Um, your air lines, and we don't have our liquid lines connected right now. The heat comes from the bottom of the, of the rotating disc, and we're going to show you that in a minute. These systems to our right over here are for our, our airflow to our spray nozzles. It has, of course, a discharge right here. Just loosen this up, and the plug will slide right out and push back in. Plugs on here. Um, show you something a little bit what we're doing with the heating controls and stuff out front. Um, this is the master heater control. You see we've got it at a 90 set point. And you see the green light just came on. And if you back off a little bit, Jim, this is showing the voltage. This is also adjustable. Um, we're not sure how they work together, but once the heat shuts off, you see the nozzle dive. Go down here, Jim. You'll see that the heat has come off. Um, the green light has gone off. So it's just trying to balance itself at the 90 C. We've set it for If you watch it for a moment, because it's losing about half a degree, it'll probably come back on. It seems it's pretty critical. And um, it usually we notice that every 30 seconds or so it'll come on a little bit. This is the product temperature reading over here. Oh, it just came on. Sorry, just show you there. Okay, so it came on. If you look up here at the heater, it's showing your voltage. Of course, the speed for your powder feeder. Let me back up a little bit there, Jim. The, the pump on the back, we're going to show you that in a second. We're running water through it right now. Product temperature is slowly rising. And if we look inside, I'm going to show you inside in a second. There's a small temperature probe right in the back here, Jim. You can see that. It's sticking through the wall right down there. Got it. So that's what's reading our temperature. And right now, we're reading 40. It's, it's, you can see it's climbing up slowly as we go. So it's up to now 40.3. Um, these controls down here are air for your spray pressure over on the spray nozzle inside the unit. Let's go around the back, Jim, and I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the pump we're operating right now. It's on the top back here, Jim, the little, little pump. It's a small gear pump contained in there, and that's also variable speed. You can slow that and raise that up. You can see the water actually going through. right here. So the flow isn't really that much. It's just a small flow. But remember, you're, you're feeding a spray nozzle, so you don't want too much of a flow. Let me, while we're back here, get back up a little bit, Jim. I'll show you inside. We have the covers removed. So right here, this is your intake blower. You see it's a little dust on it from when it was previously used. So the blower pulls in, discharges the air across up through the manifold up here, and then into the heat exchanger down in the bottom. Now this is the heat exchanger right here. You'll see this is discharge air. If you go, Jim, just back up a little bit and see underneath, you'll see the far side, the discharge air goes up into the bottom of the bowl. And that's what's heating the bowl right now. Gotcha. So it's always taking a supply of fresh air through the filter and then to heat the bowl. Everything seems to be operating. We have the complete cover for that up top for the pump area. Also, along with the unit, let me show you real quick, Jim, there are two spare pumps, uh, one spare auger, a couple of miscellaneous parts, some dust socks, things like that, a couple of tools they created. Let me show you around front one more time. The controls are in uh, great condition. Everything's wired accordingly. We believe
believe this may have been part of the old temperature control, which they replaced with the solid state uh, Omega controller you're seeing on the outside. These are your air solenoids on the bottom in here. They're for the spray controls you see out here. It's pretty simple. We've actually never had one of these before. In about an hour, we had it figured out. We do know how they operate, of course, and how they're supposed to operate, so that's a little bit of a help as well. I hope this helps you get a clear understanding that the machine's completely operational, everything going, and I'm quite sure there's factory support for it. So I hope you're uh, visiting our YouTube channel and our website at champtraining.com, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining us.